Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at Spotlight Search and Siri in iOS 9. Now these features have been greatly improved by Apple and I'm going to be taking a look at the new improvements that they've made. So, first of all I'm going to take a look at Spotlight. Now, as usual you can pull down on the home screen to get into Spotlight. However now, as with previous versions of iOS, you can also slide now all the way to the left to access your spotlight search. And this has been redesigned and it's supposed to be much smarter and easier to use. Now at the top you've got your search bar, which is quite standard, and if you tap here on this little Siri icon, you'll get Siri Dictation which you can use to enter your search suggestions like that. And you can click hit cancel and it'll take you back to your home screen. Now you'll notice for each category you can click show more, show more or show less for each different category. So that's just a nice feature that they've added. And I'm gonna go for each of these. So at the top you've got your contacts so you can just click on the contact and you can do those actions. So that's quite standard. Um, that has been removed from multitasking so in previous um, versions of iris 8 you could double tap and you would um, be able to see your contacts at the top now you cannot do that it's all accessed through here um, here you've got some apps that you might want to access frequently so you've got four examples here I'm not sure whether that will change depending on your iPhone's usage but we'll have to find out find, find that out and next you've got nearby now these this is designed to give quick access to near points of interest so for example if I wanted to get petrol stations I just click here it'll open maps and it'll show me all the nearest petrol stations and then obviously I can navigate to them if I wish to I'm just gonna hit back and I can show more and it has various other points of interest around me so obviously probably one a lot of people will use is parking so that's something that's nice and useful and down here we got news now Apple haven't yet launched the news app for the public however um, you can use well sort of get news here which I guess is sourced from the same stuff that Apple News or that's what I'm calling it the news app will use so you've got news apps, uh, news sorry, news stories. You can just tap them on, and I assume should. No, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, so at the moment it doesn't do anything. Um, obviously, when the news app comes out, it will direct you to that section of the news app. So that's a take. That's a quick look at Spotlight. Now let's move over to Siri. So with Siri, Apple have added a cool new feature which allows you to view photos taken on a certain date so for example I can ask Siri to view photos that I took earlier today or any time and Siri will be able to find what you the photos that you've taken go through your photo album and bring those results up now Siri is also much smarter now because you can say show me photos from last Christmas and um, Siri will automatically know you're talking about the 25th December of last year so I'm just going to give a demonstration of this Show me photos that I took today. And as you can see, um, Siri has opened the photos app and I can now view my photos. So that's a very nice feature indeed. Um, also, Siri now adds the ability to um, complete or sorry, carry out tasks based on the context. So if you are, say, in Maps, and I'm at a, I'm on a little, you know, on a map result. And if I want to get back to this later, I can ask Siri to remind me about this later. And you can also do this, obviously, remind me about this when I get home, whatever. So I'm just going to turn on Siri and give you a demo of that. Remind me about this. Okay, I'll remind you. So as you can see, Siri has come up with... A reminder, you can tick that on and off, or as I'm going to do, I can tap remove. Are you sure you want to delete this reminder? 
and I can just tap yes. Okay, I deleted it. So now so it won't remind me. So that's a very nice feature indeed. So the reason I've put Spotlight and Siri into one video is because in iOS 9 they link very closely. So in search, um, Spotlight can now get data that would normally um, be found in Siri and apply this into your search results. So if I slide over into search and I'm going to type in, um, just type in here as a, um, sorry, a um, demo Liverpool. Um, no, that's not it. Um, well, that isn't um, working at the moment. Let me try this. Liverpool Premier League. Oh, so at the moment it's not really working. Let me try it with Siri. Um, sorry, just using Siri. Liverpool Premier League. Getting the latest on Premier League. Okay, this is the roster for Liverpool. Okay, so as you can see, I get results here. Not, not quite sure why it wasn't working in search. I think obviously this is the beta, so there are not there are some issues. However, what I can show you are weather forecasts. So I can just type in here weather. Just tap on the app and it will bring me straight into the weather app and I can obviously look at my weather. Now next I want to talk about stocks. So I can type in um, stocks Apple. Oh, sorry. Um, let me just think why I need to type in. Um, here you go. Stock Apple. As you can see, it will come up with the stock, the current stocks for Apple, and I can just click on the sort of icon and I, it will come up with the um, with the stocks app. So that's a nice feature. Um, next, I'm going to talk about calculation and conversion. So I can type in, if I want to type in and convert um, perhaps £18. Oh, let's go back 18 pounds to US dollars. As you can see, it will come up. I just type in 18 pounds, and the first the first thing that comes up is the conversion. So that's a very handy feature for that would be sorry that would be very handy for a lot of people. Um, I can quick connect to contacts, so I can just type in contacts, and they will come up instantly. I can search iCloud documents as well, so I, I can search anything in iCloud Drive. And another feature which I can't actually show you at the moment is um deep search within apps so if you type something um say a recipe and you can't remember which app you saw it in but if you type say an apple pie recipe um the search field will find an app that supports recipes and you can tap on the app and it and spotlight would have already gone into the app and searched it so when you click on the app it will open straight to the page that contains your apple pie recipe so that was a quick look at Spotlight in OS 10, no, sorry, not OS 10, iOS 9. If you've got any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Obviously, you can email me or get in contact with me in any other way. All that stuff will be up at the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.